these people go left here so we're kind of stuck now it's passing on the right made the decision to do so all right all right guys what's up we're on 12.3.2.1 just got it we got a destination plugged in i'm taking you along for the first drive ever on full neural networks i have not even done this yet I've been testing for many months. So you guys are coming along to see my reactions. Let's go. Oh boy, baby. I may keep my hands on the wheel a little bit just so I get uh, fewer nags, but we are on full neural net. We'll see, I don't know. Makes for a better video if my hands are like this, but I'm ready to go. Staying attentive. Oh man, you could hear the excitement in my voice. Been waiting for this. Been stuck on 1149 for so long. And we're finally on the full neural nets. So what I'm going to do over the next few weeks, now that I finally have this, is we're going to be, I'm going to go to all the places that I found some edge cases over the last six months. And we're going to be testing with neural nets. Um, you know, I've got railroad tracks, roundabouts, U-turns, highway lanes that were kind of funny, construction zones. So I'm going to be going to all these places over the next uh, few weeks. So stay tuned, but here we go. First drive, full neural net. This is an interesting area because it was an unmarked lane in the past. Um, what happened was FSD 11 would stay too far to the left here as we were going over this hill and I'd have to take over. Um, it's beautifully staying to the right so far. Wow, okay. First test is a huge pass. That is impressive. That used to stay way too far over to the left. This was very, very nice off to the right on an unmarked road. So there's no way to know that this is actually a two, two lane road. Coming down here, this would be jerky sometimes. Way more smooth. Um, we've got cars coming to the left now. Let's see if it creeps out. We're gonna be heading right here. Still have three cars coming to the left. It's kind of creeping, but it's not doing that. Um, it's not doing that jerky thing that it does when it's trying to make a decision whether to go. It's kind of a slow, smooth creep out. Much smoother on that intersection there. Wow, very nice. Now we have a pedestrian here. I got to be careful because there are people that come across this bike lane. Nobody here today, but that is something I'm going to be coming back to to see if it picks up on on people. Wow, so far, very impressive. So this is gonna be a, a second big test here coming up to this traffic light where I've got a railroad track before the traffic light. Now what it's done in the past is it thinks that the railroad track is actually the stoplight and so it'll stop too soon and this is interesting here. I don't think it can fit through. Okay, smooth, slowed down. Yeah, I mean, human-like. Now we don't have anybody here and we have a green light, so this is not a great test. We'll be back on other days as it very, wow, wow, wow. That is way better. I know there was no traffic there, but that was very smooth. Now I do have this on um, average assertiveness and I don't have like minimal lane changes or anything. So if it wants to change lanes, it can. We've got some traffic cones on the left here, still changed lanes. I do have the adaptive speed. So we're going 42 and a 40 right now. Nobody send this in, we are breaking the law, but this is what a human would do on this strip here. So I do have it set to just keep up with traffic. Um, and so it's choosing to go 42 right now and a 40. Wow, I mean, this is why I wanted to take you guys on my first drive, because I wanted to give you the natural, raw reaction. I mean, I, something, is, something big is happening here, guys. This is very, very different than what I've been testing for the last five months, understandably so. Wow, something's happening here. You know, I, I, I think it's... Elon said on, on X the other day that we're going to have a chat GPT moment. I'm kind of starting to believe that what we were messing around with with version 11 was like playing chess on the back seat of a 
of an airplane seat and now we're working with stockfish for those of you who know chess and understand that reference stockfish is now full neural net trained on millions and millions of games plays intuitively like a human would in fact like a superhuman would better than any human on the planet and that's what we're doing with neural net nets with driving and my first impression is I'm blown away this is feeling like a really good human driver and I'm gonna push it don't get me wrong I get it this is the first drive I'm gonna find the edge cases that's what we do but so far this is really really impressive I know I sound like a broken record all right we're coming up to a traffic light here we're gonna be going left uh, yeah we're gonna be going left and through kind of a residential um, neighborhood after the stoplight so it'll be a good test because we have some smaller roads we are kind of getting toward rush hour so um, there should be a good amount of traffic which is good good for testing the number of nags seem about the same you know if I keep my hands on the wheel uh, I don't get any nags at all makes for a better video if you just see the the wheel on its own though yeah, so far the speed control has been very, very good. Um, yeah, dead center in the lane. I'm interested to try some of the things that uh, that tripped it up on, on some of the uh, unmarked lanes, like on highways where the markings were weird, really tripped up version 11. We're going to go test that soon. All right, so we're going to be going left here there is a left turning lane there's multiple places to turn we actually want to go past these two vehicles let's see if it figures that out now this one has its right turn signal on wants to get back in and it just kind of cautiously goes by just like a human would do now we want to get in this left lane here yeah very very nice maybe a tad slower than a human would take that but i mean there's a lot of cars around and certainly not going to fault it for being safe So for anybody that's here that doesn't understand, I mean, let me go through this again. We're on a, we're on a uh, fully visual hardware for Model Y. We don't have any sensors. The only thing coming into this computer is visual data. Absolutely no radar or anything like that. We're getting visual data in. We're running it through a neural network that was downloaded over the air onto this computer. I could get off the internet right now and we could still be doing this. That neural network, think of it like a, think of it like a digital brain with a bunch of weights, uh, like, a, a, like a web and visual data comes in, it runs it through that, that web, that neural network, and then it outputs go, stop, turn left, turn right, and it can do it all end to end. It can do it offline. We don't need anything from the cloud. Everything that we need is stored here, and it's not, as far as storage goes, that big. Now, in order to create that file, you need Dojo, the supercomputer, and you need massive, massive computing power and you need to run millions and millions of training data of video through that supercomputer and, and labeling these videos what's good behavior what's bad behavior you need a team of people doing that in order to train and adjust those weights in order to create that neural network to perform as good as if not better than a human would out in the real world and that's what we're doing right now so it's interesting how the final product is small enough, the digital product that gets put into this, the, the brain software that gets put into this computer is small enough to run on this computer here, can be off the internet, but the effort that it took to make that digital brain map is so massive. Tesla talks about putting a billion dollars a year into buying, um, processors to, to run all this and now they're saying they're not compute constrained meaning they have the hardware capable to run all of this visual data 
to create this network. Now, here's what the beautiful thing is. They can keep making it better and better, and they can do it so fast. They can do it with every couple weeks. You can create a new digital brain that's even better than the last, and it's only going to just keep getting better and better, and then you can just send that new digital brain over the air into the millions of vehicles out on the road. Um, yeah, we're, we're entering a, a really exciting time uh, in artificial intelligence. Um, wow, yeah, you gotta be long Tesla. N nobody else is doing this. Okay, we just had a little bit of a phantom slow down there. I'm not sure what it saw. There was a crosswalk. There was nobody in the crosswalk. There was a car coming. The speed limit's 25. It kind of slowed down to 25 as that car approached. Um, it's interesting because it's almost kind of trying to catch up to this vehicle in front. It is a 25 mile an hour speed zone. A couple times it kind of slowed a little bit, maybe making a decision what's the appropriate speed to go. But right now we're going six over in a 25. I mean, and that's, we're kind of matching what the car in front of us is doing through this neighborhood. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. There's a lot of things I want to know if they're putting through the computer. I put in one of my last videos, you know, one of the things that I imagine is going to be hard. Okay, we're going to want to go right here. It, it took a second to decide. One of the things that I want to know, a human brain is trained on all kinds of things. Like if I see loose material falling out of the back of a pickup truck, I'm my brain has been trained over years to know that that's danger. So I'm going to not drive closely behind a vehicle that looks like it has things in the bed of the truck that are uns unsecured. Now you can train the neural you can train the neural network on video like that. You got to feed it video of things falling out of the back of a pickup truck and label that as danger and avoid. All right, we got a car going left here. What are we doing? We kind of weaved left and right there as like it was making a decision which way to go. Now a human would get into the right lane here and pass. I'm seeing it. it's kind of wanting to. Now it saw these cars coming it wants to go but there was cars on the right not the easiest thing to navigate a human would have gone i think the issue is that we're going left a couple blocks up and what happens at this particular intersection is that people right here in the left lane actually turn left so they kind of create like a traffic jam so what if you're familiar with this part of town you would know to get in the right lane but if you're not familiar with this part of town you would think you would stay in the left lane so it was Interesting seeing it try to decide if it w should pass on the right. But, you know, it's interesting because I bet there's been a lot of training model, a, a lot of training videos that have been fed through that say passing on the right is not, uh, not necessarily a good thing. It's illegal in most states. And so while a human would do it, it's probably been labeled as bad behavior. Um, so here we are again, kind of in the same situation. Here's what I told you. These people go left here. So we're kind of stuck. Now it's passing on the right. Made the decision to do so. All right. And it did it quick and assertive. Wow. When it decided to go, it went. Before that, when it was kind of deciding, it kind of got stuck in the middle there a little bit. Um, all right. So we have a person here. Let's see if it stops. Beautiful. Wow. 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 All right, now we got people. Oh, beautiful. That's better than a human would do. I guarantee you a human getting off of work at five o'clock is going to blow through those people or blow through this crosswalk. Now, it, it didn't need to stop for this car on the left because we don't have a stop sign. That is a situation that's better than a human. Safer than a human, more courteous than a human would be in that situation human would have just gone through that crosswalk most humans all right now let's see we got construction workers in a very narrow area here let's see how it handles it very good nice and slow and cautious around those workers wow guys super impressed i cannot wait to test this out more that first drive as we arrive here at poly eyes pizza that first drive was more than I could have ever expected. And I, I'm ready to be a critic. Trust me. That was incredible. Uh, Tesla's on to something, guys. Can't wait to test more.